it's Jesse with Plan with Jesse, and I have here the 2017 Recollections Zip Llama Planner. Now I already made a video with um, showing you what it looks like inside and all the inserts and everything, so check that out if that's what you want to see, if you want to see uh, what it looks like and everything. This video is going to be me destroying it um, carefully. I am going to take the rings out so that I can use this for my A6 Hobonichi. I saw the other video where I was talking about this planner. Um, the ring system is set up here a little bit differently than in some of the other planners. Like typically, like this is a file of facts. Typically you have the ring mechanism on the top and it's attached underneath to another long piece of metal, um, something like this. So you have this on top and then this underneath connecting it. But from what I can tell just by sort of peering into this, it looks like there's no such piece of metal underneath, so it's gonna make it much easier. All we have is the back of these two rivets on the inside. Um, so it's going to make it a lot easier because the tricky part, um, for me always when I de-ring something is, you know, you have to make a hole and then you end up having to glue the hole and this doesn't always look perfect. Um, you know, I try my best, but it's not always perfect. So if I don't have to make a hole because see, there's already, there's already a hole here. There's already a substantial gap between the zipper part and then this pink part. So I think all I need to do is take the rivets out and that's it. So let's do it. So this is a cordless screwdriver. Um, you could also use a drill if you have one. And you just want to um, drill it until it comes loose. careful when you do it because there is going to be little pieces of metal flying everywhere so maybe wear goggles if you're worried about that and I just like to check it as I go to make sure that I don't go too far and I don't want to make uh, you know damage the planner so it's getting loose it's gonna take a while I'll let you know when it's done how long it took So that part is off, and that was about three minutes, not quite, um, because I did stop a few times to check it. But so that is it off there. So let's take a look. Yeah, this is just gonna pop right out. Yep, yeah, so that's it. Oh, it's so easy compared to the file of facts and the recollections one. It's just way easier. So of course the only problem is that you do have these holes. I'm not too concerned about it for myself just because I am going to put elastic in here um, to make it more of a traveler's notebook style so that's going to be covered. Um, for this one which um, I'm using t for a mini happy planner cover I just put a piece of uh, coordinating washi on there which I think is fine. I mean it comes up and you have to replace it but um, it's one option. You could also maybe put, uh, glue down the, some fabric or something like that, or, you know, if the holes don't, don't bother you, just leave the holes. All right, so give me another three minutes and I will do this one. One thing that I did notice for this one that helped um, move it along a little bit was do it more at more of an angle rather than straight up and down. If you do it at an angle, that helps, um, get the sides off because this one is a little bit different um, style wise and it just helped better to, to to get that side separated so do it at a little bit of an angle Out. 
I'm going to have it come down here. It's because the opening is a little bit bigger here on the top. Come on, there you go. Okay, so that is out. Let's just shake it down. Okay. So that is it. I will probably make a separate video showing how I um, put in the elastic just because I don't have time to do it right now because I am being summoned to put together roller coaster Lego. But I just wanted to really quickly um, show how things will fit in here. So even without the elastic, you could just put your Hobonichi in here. Like so. And then it'll zip it up. Perfect. It also, if I do it like this. Yep, that also works if you want to do it that way. And then you wouldn't have to worry about what the center looked like. Um, of course, this isn't going to work if you want to put in wallet inserts. Okay, so two more things. Let's try the mini Happy Planner. That's a little bit too wide, I think, just based on the rings. Let me see if I take the cover off a little bit. No, what if I take the rear cover off? No, it's still just a little bit too wide, I think. Be a little bit, a little bit snug. Um, I suppose if you were, if they, do they make smaller rings than this? If you put small, even smaller rings in, it might fit. Um, but as it stands now, it's not going to close easily. And you don't want to worry about, uh, have to worry about ripping your pages or anything. Yeah, that's just not working. All right, so for Weeks fans out there, let's see how the Weeks will fit in there. That is a nice fit. That is a really nice fit. Um, obviously, if you're using the Weeks for its thinness, though, um, it's going to bulk it up quite a bit, but um, that fits really nicely in there. Uh, this is a standard size um, fod Fodori Midori insert, and I think this is going to be too tall. Mm. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, I think it'll zip. It's just, it's not, it's not a comfortable fit. Um, it's just like right at the edge, but it could work. Um, you just really have to worry about the corners when you zip. Uh, and lastly, I have a personal size Fodori insert. Again, that's a nice fit. Um, could fit a few of those in there if you wanted to do it that way. All right, so that is it. I have de-ringed my 2017 zip planner from Michaels, um, and I will let you know how it works out, and I will make another video when I put in the elastic. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.